Svalbard is a collection of Norwegian islands situated amidst the Arctic Ocean, Barents Sea, Greenland Sea, and Norwegian Sea, directly north of mainland Norway. They have been under Norwegian jurisdiction since 1920. Svalbard offers a truly remote and pristine Arctic wilderness experience, with vast expanses of untouched glaciers, rugged mountains, and tundra landscapes. The archipelago is home to a diverse array of Arctic wildlife, including polar bears, reindeer, Arctic foxes, whales, seals, walruses, and a variety of bird species like Arctic terns and puffins. Svalbard boasts historic settlements with intriguing stories, such as Long Yarbien, the world's northernmost town, and Soviet-era outposts like Barentsburg and Pyramiden, each offering unique cultural insights. Long Yerbien is the largest settlement on Svalbard and serves as the administrative center. It was founded as a coal mining town in the early 20th century by John Monroe Longyear, an American businessman. The town has a rich history associated with coal mining, with remnants of old mines and mining equipment still visible today. Barentsburg is a Russian mining settlement located on the west coast of Spitsbergen. It was founded by the Netherlands in the early 20th century and later sold to the Soviet Union in the 1930s. The town has a distinctly Soviet-era ambience, with buildings adorned with socialist propaganda and statues of Lenin. Despite its small population, Barentsburg continues to operate as a coal mining town, with most residents employed by a Russian mining company. Pyramiden is an abandoned Soviet mining town located on the northern coast of Spitsbergen. It was founded by Sweden in the early 20th century and later sold to the Soviet Union in the 1920s. At its peak, Pyramiden was home to over 1,000 residents. However, the town was abandoned in the 1990s, following the collapse of the Soviet Union and the decline of coal mining in the region. Today, Pyramiden stands as a ghost town frozen in time with well-preserved Soviet-era buildings and infrastructure. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault, often referred to simply as the Doomsday Vault, is a secure seed bank located on the island of Spitsbergen in the Svalbard Archipelago, approximately 800 miles from the North Pole. The primary purpose of the seed vault is to provide a fail-safe seed storage facility, safeguarding the world's agricultural biodiversity and ensuring the preservation of crop diversity for future generations. Svalbard represents the northernmost extent of Europe, with its settlements ranking as the planet's northernmost permanently inhabited areas, apart from a handful of research stations. Positioned between the parallels 76 and 81, these settlements surpass even the northern reaches of Alaska in terms of latitude. Without the moderating influence of the Gulf Stream, these locations would be perpetually encased in ice, rendering them uninhabitable. The permanent population of the Svalbard Islands barely exceeds 3,000 individuals, with the majority residing in the primary settlements of Longyearbyen and Barentsburg on Spitsbergen Island. The remaining islands of Svalbard are uninhabited and designated as nature reserves, making them generally off-limits without special authorization. The islands of Svalbard are believed to have been initially encountered by Viking explorers around the 12th century, although the first documented voyage occurred in 1596, when the Dutch landed on the northwest coast of Spitsbergen. Throughout the 17th and 18th centuries, this coast served as a pivotal international whaling hub. Norway's sovereignty over Svalbard was formally acknowledged in 1905, and five years later, it assumed official control of the territory. However, under the Svalbard Treaty, other nations are granted absolute equality in exploiting mineral resources, leading to a significant Russian presence on the island. Despite being under Norwegian jurisdiction, Svalbard remains a neutral zone. Coal mining stands as the primary economic activity on Svalbard, with Norwegian and Russian companies currently active in the sector. Additionally, tourism has emerged as a significant economic driver, particularly in Long Yerbien, although visitor numbers remain relatively modest. Geographically, Svalbard is characterized by its harsh, barren landscape featuring rugged mountains, glaciers, and sparse vegetation. The climate is Arctic, moderated by the warm North Atlantic current, with cool summers and cold winters. The region experiences the midnight sun from April to August and the polar night from October to February. The high travel season coincides with the brief summer months, 
but the light winter period from March to May is also gaining popularity for winter sports and outdoor activities. Accessing Svalbard involves navigating a unique visa policy where individuals from any country can reside and work there indefinitely. However, entry is typically via Norway, with flights from Oslo or Tromsø to Longyearbyen being the primary means of access. Alternatively, cruises offer an immersive way to explore Svalbard, with various operators offering expeditions ranging from three-day cruises to comprehensive 12-day trips. Within Svalbard, Travel options include a short highway connecting Long Yearbyen Airport to Mine 7 alongside paved streets within the settlement. Snowmobiles are popular during winter, while travel between islands and settlements can be facilitated by plane, helicopter, or boat depending on the season and destination. In the Arctic wilderness of Svalbard, untouched glaciers, rugged mountains, and diverse wildlife await. Witness polar bears, caribou, reindeer, polar foxes, whales, seals, and walruses in their natural habitat. Summer unveils vast tundra landscapes adorned with delicate flowers amidst melting snow. Discover Long Yerbian's cultural offerings, including museums and the world's northernmost church. Venture to the Soviet-era settlements of Barentsburg and Pyramiden, home to unique attractions such as the world's two northernmost Lenin statues. While technically possible to plan independent excursions, the harsh environment necessitates pre-organized activities with professional guides for most visitors. Hiking and kayaking are popular ways to explore, with necessary equipment like flare guns and rifles available for rent in Long Yearbyen. Svalbard is one of the most remote and remarkable destinations worldwide. Here, nature, history, and exploration converge in a truly unique and unforgettable experience. If you enjoyed this video and are still looking for more stunning scenery, be sure to check out these videos. Make sure to subscribe for more journeys into the heart of Earth's most extraordinary landscapes. Until our paths cross again on the next video, stay safe.